Today I'm going to be breaking down three pixel distortion effects that you can do in After Effects that will level up your music videos like crazy. First thing you're gonna do is roto brush out your subject. I already went and did that here, and I'm not gonna explain how to roto brush. That's in tons of different videos. So the first effect that you're gonna drag on your background layer is this built-in effect called displacement map, and you're gonna set a keyframe for max horizontal displacement and blast that up all the way to the max 2000 value. And you're gonna have a bunch of little small spaces where they're just left black. You're gonna wanna click wrap pixels around to get rid of that. And so as you see here, I put that keyframe on the first frame. Then on this last frame, I'm gonna bring it down to five, which is its default place. Go ahead and easy ease those keyframes by highlighting them and pressing F9, or you can double click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. Then I'm gonna open up my speed graph. So I'll highlight these keyframes and click on the graph editor right here. Then I'll highlight highlight those points and drag this point over like that and drag this point all the way over to the left. What this is going to have it do is have most of this effect happen at the very beginning. So it happens very fast, very quickly, and then it sort of slows down for the rest of the clip. Next, I'm going to add a turbulent displace effect. This is a built-in effect as well. And right on the first frame, I'm going to set keyframes for amount and size, bring the amount up to 400 and then the size at around 60. And then right around here in the clip, I'll bring the size to 100 and the amount to zero. Then I'll highlight them and easy ease them as well. Now what I'm gonna do is add on another displacement map effect. So turbulent displace is sandwiched between these two effects. And on this first frame, I'm gonna do the same, except instead of doing the horizontal displacement, I'm gonna mess with the vertical displacement. So set a keyframe there and then blast this up to 2000 as well. Make sure to click wrap pixels around. And then later in the clip right around here, I'll bring that back down to five, easy ease those keyframes, open up the graph editor and then repeat the same process bringing these over like that and now we're gonna have a look that looks like this which looks super trippy and that is just with built-in effects and to save you guys some time i actually put this in a reset pack so all i have to do is go over here type in pixel attack and just drag on that effect and it's already right there for me and right now i put this in a preset pack called the jmo pack volume one i just dropped two new packs and i made the first one for people who don't have plugins so if you don't have any plugins i highly recommend it there's 24 other super Super trippy looking effects so this would be perfect for you the only plugin you do need is displacer pro which is a free plugin i'll have that linked in the description highly recommend it and it can add a super trippy look to all of your videos and jmo pack volume 2 i made for people who already have those plugins like forest sapphire and red giant universe you want to take your edits to that next level and now we're going to be breaking down this next pixel distortion that's also in the jmo pack volume 1 and this is the pixel attack 2 preset so i'll just drag this on and this is what it looks like and this one, in my opinion, looks a lot better. It looks really trippy. And this is using the Displacer Pro effect. And on this first frame, I'm going to set a keyframe for scale and increase it to somewhere around 240. And then later in the clip, I'm just going to bring that back to 100%. Highlight those keyframes, mess with the graph editor as much as you want. And now I'm going to add on the effect again. So add on another Displacer Pro effect and set a keyframe for scale again and bring it to somewhere around 42. So instead of increasing it like I did on the first, one i'm just decreasing it so that those two will kind of collide into each other and it creates that kind of crazy looking watery wave effect so i'll set that keyframe here on the first frame around 42 and then on this last frame i'll bring it back to 100 percent and then to get rid of the black here just make sure to set the edge behavior to mirror repeat once again easy easier keyframes and mess with the graph editor like we did on the first effect now of course if you don't want it to just be that bland background color you can add on hls or hue saturation and set a keyframe for hue on the first frame and then on the last frame have it go through two full rotations just to add some color to it and then of course you're going to add any glows that you want and now i'm going to take it even a step further so this is a preset that is in the jmo pack volume 2 and i'm giving you guys a free sample right now by showing you guys how to do this so make sure to subscribe and go cop the pack for your boy so i'm just going to come over here it's called the strawberry field preset and i'm just going to drag that on so for this effect right here i took the displacer pro concepts and effects and applied it to this with just adding a little bit more sauce to it so the first effect i dragged on here is uni prism displacement this is a red giant universe plugin and at the beginning i'll 
I'll set the glass refraction to around eight. And then on the last frame, I'll set it back down to zero. Easy to use those keyframes, open up my graph editor and mess with the speed graph. And already it's giving a much crazier look. Then I'll add in the Sapphire plugin effect called Distort Chroma. And as you can see here, if you mess with the amount, you get a trippier look. And if you mess with the blur lens, you can also get some crazy looks, make it look bigger or smaller. And I like leaving it around here at about 10 and then just kind of letting that play out and then bringing the amount back down to zero on the last frame, giving it a look like this. And of course you can keyframe the blur lens however you want throughout the effect. And then once I add on some hue, saturation and an additional saturation effect from the Lumetri color effect, we have something looks like this. I know that not all of you guys can afford those big plugins like Sapphire and Red Giant Universe. So that's why I made the JMO Pack Volume 1 for you guys and JMO Pack Volume 2, which is the craziest sauce I've ever made. Like genuinely, probably the best effects I've ever made that I'm putting into a pack and selling to you guys. In my opinion, these are the best presets I've seen in the game. I'm not just toot my own horn. Like I've really seen many, many preset packs and I feel like a lot of them are just straight up bullshit, bro. Like I'm not even a lot and a lot of them are really good but i just think that this has the most stuff in it at the best value you can get 30 percent off right now on my website so make sure to check it out support the channel support your boy and i'm not saying that they're all bullshit like a lot of them are really good but like come on like like in some of these preset packs you're expecting a lot more you're disappointed when you get it you open it up you're like what is this you you slap it on your video and you're not happy with it and that sucks you know so i want you guys to know that i took the utmost care in creating this product for you guys and i really genuinely do care about pushing this out to you guys as my audience but yeah link in the description for those and check out my website jmovfx.com peace out